If you like films like Buried, 47 Meters Down, 47 Meters Down, Uncaged, The Shallows, Open Water, The Descent, and a handful of other films that are basically bottle episodes where people are trying to escape a very unwinnable situation, Fall is the next film that falls very nicely into that category. Let's talk about it. From the producer 47 Meters Down and the director of pretty much nothing comes Fall. And I would be remiss if I didn't tell you to follow me on social media at TikTok and on Twitter. It's Adam Does Movies. You can see what I did with the plan words. We have, we have fun here. We have fun on this channel. You can also subscribe. The premise of this film is incredibly simple. It's right to the point. Becky and her best friend Hunter lose someone very close to them. So to try to move on and honor the person at the same time, they decide to scale a 2,000 foot high radio tower that's been inactive for quite a while. And it, I mean, you can see it. That thing is rusty as shit. I haven't seen either of these actresses before, but I will say Becky, she looks an awful lot like Ren from Even Stevens, if you remember that gem of a TV show. She's essentially Ren's sister, as far as I'm concerned. She's played by Grace Caroline Curry. Her friend Hunter, played by Virginia Gardner, she's not afraid of anything, she's a daredevil. The two actresses do a fine job in this movie, but I will point something out. Uh, the girls came out for this film. And by the girls, I don't mean these two women, I mean the ladies down here. Hunter intentionally rocks a push-up bra to keep these suckers in full frame because she has a social media following and she's gotta keep up her appearance. She has to put her breast foot forward. Best foot forward. Hunter has about 60,000 people on social media, and I can attest that uh, that's a fine number, it's not amazing, but she's a woman, and she's attractive, and she has breasts. So, I hate to break it to you, Hunter, you're doing it wrong. You don't need to scale giant things and fly drones around to get attention. There is an army of simps out there that will subscribe and give you money for simply just, just going like this. I mean, virtually no effort is involved. Zero talent on display. The good news for both of these ladies, if they survive this climb, there's a nice job waiting for them at Hooters, right down the street. I realize I'm spending a dumb amount of time on this, but honestly, it was very distracting in the movie, especially Hunter. Those suckers are in your face most of the time. Now that'll be enough uh, to get some of the pervy gentlemen out there to the theater that appreciate a nice woman's body. For me though, I was actually invested in the story and the acting. So that was a distraction. That was a distraction I for once didn't need. This isn't a Christopher Nolan picture. However, there are some nice wide shots of this tower, some good sweeping pans over the thing. It looks pretty damn good, honestly. I'd say 80% of the time, I was believing they were climbing this thing, when in actuality, in the back of my mind, I know they're just in front of a green screen, climbing a couple rungs, and then it's all just kind of painted in afterwards, or, or they're superimposed on it. Regardless, I was on board throughout this whole movie. There's a lot of interesting things that take place on this tower. Again, it is a survival film. It's very over the top, especially towards the end. And obviously, plausibility, uh, that, that's at like an all-time low. If you are a climber or a spelunker, I don't actually know the term, I'm sure that this movie's gonna drive you up the wall if you're looking for believability. There's a lot of things here that just don't make a lot of sense. In fact, from a practical standpoint, some of the stuff these girls accomplish just is like, what, is that something you can actually do? I don't know. I'm too dumb to actually realize if it's true or not. Much like Prey, this film clearly has a lower budget, but director Scott Mann's doing a great job using it. I kind of like the smaller scale stuff we're getting in movies. Now, this is a theatrical release, unlike Prey, that was exclusive to Hulu. It's a little weird that they put this movie out in theaters, which makes me think it didn't cost very much at all to make. But still, this is something that could have easily gone straight to streaming. That said, I did appreciate seeing this on the big screen just because they're climbing a massive tower and it's nice to get that kind of, you know, that big field of vision, the awe-inspiring shots. There was a teaser for this trailer and I'm pretty sure it's the one they show on IMDb. The CGI is awful in it. I don't know why they're using this footage. It looks terrible. It's not in the movie. It's just a big drone shot flying up this clearly fake tower. It's flying in and out of the rungs. It's kind of fun, but it looks bad. Not in the film. Not in the film. If you're going to this because Jeffrey Dean Morgan's credited, yeah, you're maybe gonna wanna stay home. He, he's not in it more than like four minutes. You're getting four minutes of Negan and nothing more. The score is fine, it does the job, it's kind of your stock boilerplate 
inspirational survival music. If you like movies of this type, I don't think you're gonna be disappointed going to this. I had a good time, I went with a buddy. We were on the edge of our seat for some of this. I mean, there's a lot of parts where it's very intense and you're like, uh, there's no way they're dying this early, but maybe they are gonna die this early, if at all. You don't know. The film does a great job of saying anyone can go at any point. I'm on for the ride. Movie's an hour 45, that was perfect for me. It didn't overstay its welcome. Nice movie, in and out, got what I needed. So go watch Fall if you have nothing better to do. It's a decent time at the theaters. I don't think you're gonna be disappointed if you like this type of film. Maybe you already saw it and you're just waiting to talk. Now's your chance in the comments below. Let me know what you thought of the film or if you're excited to go see it. Please think about liking the video, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you next time. Take care. Hunter is out there busting her ass for subscribers, much like myself. And kind of like her, we have the same amount of subscribers. So I know I know how tough it is. I mean, granted, she's doing it wrong. She could just seriously have the push-up bra and not have to scale mountains and she'd do just fine. You know, maybe post three or four videos a day on TikTok, just going like this, just not even really dancing, just a sway. That's all you need to do. I don't have it so easy though. So please think about subscribing, sharing the video around, and joining me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies, or hit that join button and become a member right here on YouTube. It's very easy, and, and it's a way to say, Adam, I like what you're doing, keep going. Keep pushing, man, keep climbing that tower that is life. <laughs>